What's cracking, everybody? And welcome to another episode, homie, of American Stepchild Podcast. We're here at the Full News Production Studio, sponsored by Bobby G Street Pulse Productions. And uh, we have none other than the infamous, I would say, in in, in my eyes, um, OG family right here. Hey, hey, Mike, what's, what's up, up homie? What's up? How's it going? Thanks. Good, good, good man. <laughs> As you can see, my boy's a little camera shy. Uh, he don't do too many interviews. A lot of people don't even know who this Vato is. So I'm going to sit here and introduce you guys. And hopefully, now you guys can put a picture to the face, to the brand of OG Family. You guys all see it. The, the uh, what was that oldies one with Felix the Cat? The, that's just a big seller for you. Yeah, oldies but goodies. Oldies but goodies. Yeah. You guys have all seen it. I've seen it at the Ontario Mills. I've seen it at Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet. All the indoors carry this food shit. I don't even know if they're bootleg anymore or this food got some kind of deal with them. But I would say 9 out of 10, they're probably bootleg. Nah. All right? They're good? I mean, there is some bootleg. There's a lot of There's bootleg, a lot of bootleg but, out there. But, nah, the majority is ours. The majority it's of OG ours. shit? Yeah. But when I do go to Cardinals, I see a lot of bootleg and stuff, so. Well, at least you heard it right here that OG, at least it's OG shit that if you do see it at the Fontana Indoor or at the Waterman or at the Pomona Valley Indoor Swap Meet or at the Santa Fe Spring Swap Meet, that it is original OG family product, right? Yeah. You yeah. printed it. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so. well, there you go, <laughs> homie. Sponsored by Killer Kush. Right here, we got 323 Expressions, homie. Shout out. Thank you, everybody, for the necklaces. We got uh, uh, AP Construction. And we also got Vinyl Bandits. Make sure you guys get all your stickers, homie, from Vinyl Bandits. Anything Full News related is all Vinyl Bandits, homie. So shout out Killer Kush and all my other sponsors, homie Q. Now back to OG Family, dog. How long you been in this game, homie? I've been printing shirts since uh, 2000, since the year 2000. So, so, so you're in the shirt, in the garment. You're in the garment business, in the, in the industry. Yeah, I started printing shirts... Um, I want to say right out of high school, but it wasn't right out of high school, but it was right out of high school. So Was it OG Family even back then? No, nah, no. Nah, I've always been West Coast. So West Coast Graphic, that's the company that I started. And then we didn't bring OG Family until about 2008. So we started printing in 2008. We started doing OG Family. So you're coming up on your 20-year mark, 16 yeah. years in the game as OG Family. And if you guys don't know, make sure you guys check them out on Instagram. I've seen you on TikTok. Yeah. I don't know if that's you. No, yeah, that's It me. is you? Yeah. So we got OG Family on TikTok and Instagram, so check them out. Are you on YouTube? Nah. Not I'm yet. On YouTube. I'm, I'm on YouTube, but as West Coast, not as like... Not so as OG. West Coast Customs. West Coast Graphics. West Coast Graphics, yeah. excuse me. West Coast Customs, other fool, huh? Yeah, yeah that's the car that's car the car, car. cup. Yeah. My bad. So. That's on the nah, no worries. But, okay, so you're OG Family, not to be confused with Originals Magazine. Original magazine is my brother, but yeah, the, not to be confused, cause yeah, we're se we're separate but we're together. So it's my brother. So. so your brother runs Originals magazine. Yeah, and you run Originals OG. family, OG family, the brand. Yeah, and you're separate. Yeah, he's his own entity. He runs OG. I mean, you know, shout out to your brother Rich. That fool gave me my first art show. <laughs> so that's how I met these bottles. But we're gonna talk about that. Cool. But. How did you come up with, who came up, okay, let's say, who's your, who's the older brother and who's the younger brother? I'm the older brother. You're the older brother. Yeah. So my so brother's two years younger than me. Rich. Yeah. Originals Magazine. Yeah. Okay, so who came up with the name? For the magazine or for the brand? Well, it ties in, to me, as, as an outsider, when I first came in, you know, I just some lame-ass fool, homie, just came out of nowhere, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I see Originals and OG Family, I'm thinking it's the same shit. Because I go to our show and I see one and I see the other, but it, it it's just like it's like a, a, a it's like when you say original and we say that's the OG that's the OG and you know what I'm saying so yeah no I, I get it it's it's easy to confuse because it's like you know because of course we're brothers we work together we're always doing everything together so even in the photo shoot like but now I try not we try to keep it separate. Um, like, even before in the photo shoots, like, somebody would be wearing an Originals hat with an OG shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, everybody, it's easy to confuse. But, so yeah. It all, it all ties in together. But, though, so how, how it started was, like, um, so around that time, 2008, well, you know Adam, right? 
Yeah, my yeah. boy Adam. Shout, yeah. shout out Chicano you know, letters up, Adam? with an X, <laughs> homie. So mm. Adam was working for us at that time, and um, my brother was had a clothing brand. Adam had a clothing brand, and I was trying to start a clothing brand. Mm. So, so that's how that's how it happened. So, so my brother was pushing his brand, and I was just like, I told him I was like, it's not gonna work because the name of the brand was LA. So just it was, LA. Well, it was spelled E L A Y. So I was like, it's not gonna work. Because, LA. <laughs> yeah, because we're we're in um. You know, we're in, we're in we're San Bernardino. Yeah, we're in you, the IE. Your so base... Like, okay, let's just clear that up real quick before we go any further. So, you're based out of the the Inland Empire. Yeah. Out of San Bernardino. That's where you have your West Coast graphics, right? Every OG family products. Not only that, this will put... I mean, that's who printed... You printed my... You print all my shirts. Every sweater, hoodie, tank top that you guys have ever got that's Full News Network... Has been printed by this Vato right here, homie. So give this fool this fool's flowers. He's been in the game 24 years. Can we get a fucking applause for that, Bobby G? <laughs> give this motherfucker his flowers, homie. Federal. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Up and up. Thank you. Up and up. But um So well, So yeah, so I was like, you know, I wanted to make a brand. We all wanted to make a brand, but nobody could agree on like, well, everybody wanted to be separate. Like, I'm gonna make my brand, I'm gonna make my brand, I'm gonna make my brand. And I was like, it's not gonna work. Like it, why are we trying to compete with each other when we're a team? We should be making one thing and make that good. Mm. So, and the, at the time, well, I had OG. Um, yeah, my brother had Ele or LA. And then uh, Adam was doing the Rebels crew. Mm. So that's how we started with Rebels crew. So I just told my brother, I was like, what if we just do the Rebels crew? If you don't want to do mine, and I don't think yours is going to work since we can't agree, maybe we can agree on doing Rebels crew. So we started doing Rebels Crew. So in the midst of doing Rebels Crew, um, we started off at the swap meet. So we'd go to the swap meet like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, but then, you know, like any other, uh, when, they, when you're partnering up, it's like, well, how come I'm doing more work and you're doing less work and you're mm. doing this work? And so it gets like that. Yeah, you, know? you get too many hands in the cookie jar, homie. Everybody wants to grab the last cookie and then it just becomes a, a tug of war. Even if... If it's not about money, it's about just who's running what. This it's never it never works, guys. Yeah, it it, it can work, but it never it, it doesn't never work, works. but it can work. It can, but it'll work if it's like your high not who's your partner, <laughs> or somebody maybe like your brother. Okay, well, we got too many people in the pies. I'm sorry to say, homie, but it doesn't work. But you did right, and and yeah, and that's one of the reasons why. Like I, oh, if you ever see me at a show or anything, I'm mostly by myself. Recently, I, you know, I started kicking it with Twenty Seven. Uh, junkies, but like, but that's prior- shout out to Burst Rock. Yeah, <laughs> Burst Rock Junkies. This was a food homie. Shout out to that. That food does a Squidward. I've seen them. But yeah, but most of the time, you know, I'm always at shows by myself. Like, whatever, you know, because when I when you like you said when you affiliate with too many people, it's just like it could go wrong. People start arguing, like you know. But anyways, so like, so we were doing Rebels Crew, and then little by little, we started implementing OG. So then we started doing both. But then it became like that. Well, I'm doing more work. I'm doing more work. Well, I'll be real. I was going to the swap meet like all the time, right? You you thought you were carrying this shit on your yeah, back. Yeah, I was like, I'm at the I swap meet Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm like, you fools go home on Friday, and that's it. And I'm over there. But then come Tuesday, it's like, well, how much money did we make? And I'm like, uh, you know, and... Yeah, and uh, and it's my brother and it's Adam who's also like my brother. So yeah. like, you know, I, and we've uh, we've talked about it, and you know, like yeah, this has all been talked through. Yeah, already. not like you're fucking <laughs> out here just throwing shade on fools. Like I know all these fools. His brother, obviously, I know his brother, Adam, who you're talking about, was there the night that I told him that I was gonna create this, and he and he sat there and he was like, we were sitting there talking about our dreams, and he, I told him mine, and he told me his, and and that's who he's talking about. So yeah, I understand exactly who. And, mean? and we're all cool, you know, to this day, of course, we're still we're still all close. Uh, but we just we decided to drop Rebels at that time and continue with OG. Uh-huh. And now that's where we're at right now, right here. So, well, I'm glad that you dropped Rebels crew, homie, and everything <laughs> else, because OG family blew the fuck up straight up. You see it everywhere. You you see the, the logo on his head. Show me your logo on your chest, dog. Oh, yeah, that's that OG family. You guys have all seen it. Tube tops, you do tube tops, you do spaghetti straps, 
you do and my Haina homie, my Haina, she loves your product and there's a I'm just gonna say my Haina don't love everybody's product. <laughs> because she's had other people's products where where they give her tube tops and this and that. She wears them and she's just like cheap, nasty, ugly. I don't like the seam. My girl's very, very but when she wears this full shit, homie, she's like, ooh. Hmm. There you go. They did right on this one. I like this. That's the palada. <laughs> her words. No, I like I'm, this. I'm, I'm and, and I took my Haina to this food store. Did I not? I took yeah. it. I said, go ahead, baby. Hook it up. Get 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 what you because she loved his shit so much for all these little cholitas. And my Haina's not even a chola. But she grew up in that era. So she understands two tops and spaghetti straps and all these chola chola language. And that's where you want to go with OG family, homie. If you want, especially women, hainas, youngsters, older, gorda, chunky, whatever, <laughs> this food got a size for you, homie. I'm just being honest. Like, I'm oh, not talking you. shit. I'm not talking shit. I'm being straight up honest. Like, you got good quality shit, homie. Thank you. No, yeah, and, th- and that's the thing. Like, because we've been printing shirts so long, like, I've dealt with the cheap stuff. I've dealt with the good product. Yeah, it's a little more expensive, but in the end of the day, your customers are going to come back. When you get the cheap stuff, they might buy it, and then like, I didn't like that. Like, why am I going to go back? Just like you said, you know? But if the quality is good and it feels good on them, they come, keep coming back. I need so another one. Sense, I need what another I was one. To yeah. you. It's like any, It's like anything you push, you know? Like, you push good product, the people, it's going to sell itself. I love the fact that he's like, well, yeah, of course she liked it. I've been in this game 24 years, homie. Like, there's levels to this shit. Just like anything, homie, like, even me. I didn't just come up with this shit just to, I didn't just pop up one day and say some fucking lame ass, we'll go buy a mic. Nah, homie, I studied documentaries for 24 years. I watched countless datelines and countless front lines and countless <laughs> lists and countless that because that's what I, that's what I like. I didn't so know that. 24, cool. Yeah, homie, that's, that's cool. why I'm so informative on a lot of shit because I read, I read books that are 1,500 pages. Well, that, well, see, it's good that you said that because that's exactly how we are. Like, I research the internet all day. All day, all day, I research, okay, what's trending? What's popping? What's happening? Who's doing what? Who's doing this? Who's doing that? What what fashion is coming in? What What is this? You know? And I, most of the time, I know two years ahead, three years ahead, sometimes even five years. Like, all right, this is the direction everybody's moving in right now. So I got to start making stuff like that. Yeah. You see the trajectory. And, of, and it's of, a lot of research. Yeah. They so, don't understand. A lot of people think that you're on your phone. A lot of people think that, oh, this was always on his phone. Christmas time comes. He's like this. You know, we're, all, we're always like this, right? <laughs> we're always like this, 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 and that. But when you're a business owner, and this is a business, this is a business page. I don't come in here to bring the hottest rappers. I don't come in here to bring who's popping. Because you fools don't even know this fool. A lot of you people have never even seen his face, but you've seen his product. You've seen his, I guarantee you, I'll put money that you've seen his shirts. You probably own a few in your closet right now. Go in your closet right now. I guarantee if you got an OG shirt, I'll send you a sticker. <laughs> Let me know. You're popping, homie. Thank you. Thank so you. I brought you on here because I consider you a friend, dog. Cedro. I don't you. have a lot of friends in this game. A lot of fake friends, maybe, but... This fool has never, this fool has never, ever, when I call on him, you, 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 and that, you know, that's what friends do, I think. I think, and now it's a business friendship, but not only that, I could, I almost feel like that if I had a personal issue, I could call Mike and be like, what's up, me?" And I think this fool, you know, he carries this out with people that I admire, like Adam, you know? So that says a lot. Yeah, thanks. You. Yeah. No, Adam is good. Adam is good, dude. So tell us how you came up with the name OG Family. That I could take a drink off camera. <laughs> no, so the way we came up with it was like, um, it's just because the so the way the way it's designed is more yeah you know it's it's more towards like uh, well because I grew up in the nineties, so everything affiliated with nineties graffiti gangster stuff cholo whatever you want to call it tag bang um, that's like my era. That's when I grew up. So I try to do everything related to that, you know. And at the time, you know, I was like, well, what what could sell? Like, what what's going to last forever? Like, the what is everybody, yeah, what is everybody going to be saying 20, 30 years from now? You know, like, 
The culture. Like OG, yeah. Like OG has always been around. The word OG, like, the oh, that's the OG. Or, the 90s. Or, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. It's in, it's nostalgic now because now we're called old heads. Us old heads that grew up in the 90s, you youngsters are trying to dress like us. So don't get it twisted because <laughs> you're still learning off of us. You're watching our shows. You're watching our podcast. You're trying to be like us. So this man has put out the 90s in your face. And that's the thing. Like, I keep, you know, like, when I was in high school, that was my thing. Like, trying to dress better than everybody else. Like, I was always trying to do that. So still to this day, like, like it's still in me. Like, okay, I, you know, your shoes got to be clean. Your pants got to be iron. You got to wear this a certain that's way. That's the 90s, you homie. a certain way, you know, like. And so right now at this moment in time, it's like super easy to design. Like sometimes I don't even have to think. And it's like so easy that it bothers me because I'm like. No, it's not a matter of time. It's, yeah. not, it's not the it's not the creativity. It's not none of that. You got everything you need to create a banging ass product if you wanted to right now, right? Yeah, everything just comes full circle, you know, like. So right now everybody likes smile now, cry later. And to me, I'm like. I've <laughs> run like, it, yeah, but it's, run it, but it seems too easy. Like it's like, well, why do I want to do that? Like anybody could do that. Like does because that? it's it's it. What goes around comes around. No, I I right? agree. no, I'm saying like it, it made its way back around, but it never really left. But sometimes if it just feels like you you just I I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like like I it's a no brainer. Does that make sense? Like it's just like easy money, but the, the I don't want it to sound like like that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, but how many? You it's like it's like a pizza, homie. You get one pizza. It's a pizza, but there's different ways to make the pizza. So if you make a small knock right later, I'm sure you, I've seen the ones with the beer. I've seen the high knot ones. I've seen I've seen all the small knot. You could design a small knot cry later from here to next week, homie. A different design for OG family, and it'll all be good. Well, we actually have another one dropping. <laughs> but <laughs> <same>. but see, <laughs> but like, but at the same time, we still want to be different. Like, we don't want it to be just the regular faces. Like, like that's what I mean. Like, anybody could do the faces. Like, well, I'll tell you what, homie. Right now, as a as a supporter. Uh, you know, as I, I wear, I should have wore it today. I don't even know why I didn't, because this who blesses me with so much stuff. But, no um, but you know, I want to say your shit's good, homie. Thanks. It's not. It's not just me. It's my brother too. So we both do it. Um, so that's another thing. So when we first started doing the business, well, I started the company. He came a year later. Uh, but my brother has always drawn his whole life. He's been mm -hmm. he's, he's an, been artist. an artist. Yeah. I draw too, but he's better than me. At the end of the day, he's better than me. And But in the beginning, we were both printing and we were both designing. And the same thing, it came to me again. I'm like, we can't be both doing the same thing. You know, one has to do one thing and the other one has to do the other thing. So I was like, I'll print, you design. And so that's how we've been doing. I still design, like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I can still design. But I don't have a lot of time to design. He has the time. I've seen your brother yeah, work. He'll sit there and draw that all day. <laughs> that fool came to a tattoo shop one time. Shout out to Bridge City and my homie out there, Manny and, and Low Key and all the foods in Bridge City and Rialto. Um, that fool came in. I think he wanted to work there for a little bit or do yeah, something yeah, there. He, did, yeah. he <laughs> sat there. He looked like a hacker, homie. This fool was just on the computer for like six hours straight. While we're all doing a you know, tattoo shop, we, we, we move at our own pace. Yeah. This fool from Original Magazine, his brother Rich came in and he was just like, "Like, fool, what are you doing?" Fool, I, he must have designed like two or three, like things. While in in the matter of time, we were there doing nothing. <laughs> Your brother <laughs> busted out like three shirts. That's what I'm trying to say. The dedication. So it's 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 woven. In, was your dad like that? Is your mom and your parents like? Are they like? Did, where did you guys get that ethic from, bro? Where did you guys come from? <laughs> So, yeah, no, so I always, we always talk about this because, so as growing up, me growing up, my dad always told me, like, uh, you got to work hard when you're young so you can relax when you're old. So I always live by that, like, mm -hmm. work hard when you're young, relax when you're old. So, that stuck with you. Yeah, that stuck with me. Um, but when, also, would he, when would he, excuse me, when would he say those things to you, though, just, like, randomly? Or? No, because I would always say, like, I want to get a lowrider. Like, I want to do this. Uh, you know, like, random stuff like that. He's like, you don't need a lowrider right now. He's like, 
you, what are you going to do with it? He's going to break. You don't have money to fix it. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> He's like, but when you're old, you can enjoy it. You, if it breaks, you can fix it. You know, right now when you're young is a time to, to work. Just work. Don't, don't do anything else but work. And when you're old, then you can enjoy everything you worked for. So, so you've been, damn, bro, that's powerful. And your dad, your dad, your dad seems like a wise man. So if somebody had to plant that seed in your dad. Yeah, I would say my grandpa, I guess. So your grandfather was like that too? Yeah, so my so my grandfather, he, uh, he so he lived in, he, I think he want to say he grew up in like, uh, like Oklahoma or something. Huh. And then he went to Mexico. He met my grandma. And then he came over to California. And uh, they worked. They lived separate, but he worked here in L.A., uh, bought a house, you know, and then brought the family over. Like, it, But it took them a lot of years, you know. It took them like 10, 10 15 years to do everything. Like, it, was, it didn't just happen. So I always thought that was like a beautiful story when... <laughs> When like you see old movies, like like let's say um for instance, Mi Familia. Remember that we all remember Mi Familia with Edward James almost, yeah, Jimmy Smith and Jennifer Lopez. Well, in that story, you know something similar where the husband was here and the wife was here, and the family dynamic was still present, even though they were both like you know what I'm saying they were both trying their best to hold it down. Yeah, and I, that's the that's the that's the that's what I picture right now when when you mentioned your grandfather and, and your grandmother, and and um, and well here we are. I mean, they instilled those things in your dad. He instilled them in you, and I see, homie, the way you instilled them in your kids. Oh yeah, you, these fools run, are running the shop when you got events going, <laughs> right? Yeah, or your nephews. Well, I, to me, I. It's like my dad used to say, like, you have to be a kid, too. You have to enjoy your childhood because you have the rest of the, your life to work. Even though he said work hard when you're young, he also said you have to become a kid before you could. So that's kind of how I am. I let my kids, like, I let them be kids. But at the same time, that's why they, they do sports nonstop, round, year round. They don't stop playing sports. Mm. And I'm hard, I'm hard on them with sports because – Sports is like what teaches you like how to grow up, you know, like when if you run discipline sports as a kid, and... yeah, if you run sports as a kid, you learn discipline, you learn how to be there on time, wait till it's over, you know, do all that stuff, but you also get that comp that competitiveness mm. in, out of you like, okay. So the competitive spirit is yeah. in you already. So you're instilling this in your children. So you got teenagers now, no? Yeah, well, my yeah. oldest, my daughter's 20, so she's <laughs> But yeah. my middle, he's 15, and then the youngest is, he's about to be 13, so. And they dress like you? No. They don't dress no. like, so they're not OG The youngest out? one does. The one that's 13, he, everybody around him dresses like, you know, like the same, the same Pro way clubs we did. Yeah, and like, yeah. Right? And little Edgars. But he. Not, oh, no, little Cholitos. They're yeah, like little cho they look like little Cholitos. And, um, well, fuck, your dad's OG family. <laughs> What are you gonna dress up like? I mean, it. but I but they don't have to like if I want them to choose whatever they want to choose. I'm not gonna force them to dress you know, a certain way. Like that's it's not my decision. It's their decision. If they want to dress like that, cool. If they don't, cool. But you know, like but then you know too, like uh, you know, like if you dress like that, it comes with the consequence. You know, like you can get run up on. Yeah, but it depends how Straight you act up. too. Like like why. I mean, yeah, you probably pull the battered little hind at the skating rink, también. But you're also gonna get ran up on in the parking. Like, what's up, homie? Where you from? Who are you? So it comes yeah. with. Yeah, you can pull the hind up, but you're also gonna pull the fucking. But, but I also believe not that, every time. <laughs> but I also believe that we live in a different time where, like, you kind of can nowadays, and it's okay. But I do see it still. You know, it's been like that for years. Like. It still is like that. You still can't get run up on, but there still is. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. You know. I. I don't know if well, it's gonna let me change ask you or this. it's gonna stay the same. Let me ask you. I think. Well, I think we're in a better place definitely than we were in the nineties. Yeah. Because this definitely uh, is not like that. You go to Los Angeles and it's different because everything's so gentrified now. Like you go to Echo Park, you go to East LA, 
You go to South Central. Even South Central is getting gentrified, homie. So you, Venice is done. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. I love Venice, homie. Shout out to the food from Venice. But, you know, unless you go deep in the neighborhood, homie, that's like the only spot they got. Everything now is gentrified. Even the neighborhood looks gentrified. It hasn't came. Gentrification hasn't made its way out to the IE yet. I mean, maybe like on hospitality, right? Or maybe around San Manuel or like certain spots where you see a little bit of gentrification, but. You're right, you're right. Come on, I dog. We're yeah. from the hood in San Bernardino. We're yeah, talking about <laughs> Del Rosa. We're yeah. talking about G Street. We're talking about Fifth Street. We're talking about all these crazy at Mom Waterman, right? Yeah. No, yeah, I agree. So how is it that you fucking build such a big brand in San Bernardino? How does the IE respond to OG family? Uh, You know, it's like you said, like nobody still, I've, I don't feel like that. Me, I feel like, how come nobody likes our brand? Like, what are we doing wrong? Like, I know a lot of people are wearing it. I know it's in a lot of stores. I see people wearing it, but I just feel like it just doesn't have that cool factor. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just me. But at the same time, like, sometimes I feel like, I don't know. I always say this. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like our people would rather wear somebody else's stuff than our own stuff. Does that make sense? Oh, I I understand one hundred percent wholeheartedly <laughs> on that one. It's like that with music. It's like that with clothing. Yeah. It's like that with everything that we create. They would rather wear something that somebody else made than. And I I want to cross the line. Like my my goal is to cross that line where like I want everybody to wear it. Like you're a visionary. Yeah. You see something that people don't see, right? Yeah, and so that's why too like. I get it. Some some fools don't like our stuff because they're like, oh, like, because we kind of like, I, we try to make it trendy, more trendy. Like, it's still got the gangster style, but it's trying to be, like, more trendy where it's not just so gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I want other people to wear it. Like, I want it to be mainstream. I want people to, so like. So do you only want gangster shit for the 90s or do you also want? Cause, okay, let me t- let's talk about the 90s, right? What's the 90s to you? fun no hey. no <laughs> no the 90s to me is just like i don't know it's just it's just a lifestyle like it's just i, I don't know i don't know how to explain it what, um, what, when i tell you give me 10 things that best describe the 90s to you <laughs> that, that's a good question i, I don't mean, know like i have this concept i have this concept of the 90s in my head but when you ask that, it, it just kind of like, it gets me stuck. Like Okay, so let's talk. Let's say graffiti. Graffiti, yeah, right, yeah. Right? Okay, graffiti. RTD buses. Okay. Belmont All tunnels. Right. You're opening up my mind now. All right. Right? Yeah, so yeah, graffiti. Chaka. Flyer parties. I mean, you know? flyer parties, yeah. Uh, um, You know, $10 at the door. <laughs> BYOB. Yeah, Beer runs. Oh, it was funny today on the way over here. Right? So, some kids were doing a beer run. You caught them? And no, the I was I was paying for my drink. I got, I bought a, a Gatorade, and the lady was like, "Hey, hey, they're gonna do a beer run." And then one of the dude, the workers, he went and stood by the door, and, then, and I turned around. <laughs> and the kid had a beer. He had a twelve pack in his hand, and I was like, "Dang, I haven't seen that in so you, many you, years." You buy like, him a talk it was just funny. No, the the <laughs> kid was like. I'm not gonna do nothing. I was gonna pay for it. <laughs> and did the guy ever, was like, "Did you ever do a beer run?" Nah, I've seen them done. I did one. I, 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 I did a gang of them. I'm not gonna lie. Them, but we had a spot. I'll like, be real re- quick. We had a spot in Pomona right there off Ramona. It was Chino, in the 60 freeway and the liquor store. We jump as soon as we do the beer run. We jump on the freeway. The next exit was Pomona. We've been the hood. <laughs> so the Chino cops gonna come to the hood. But yeah, beer run. So okay, so that's one thing. What else? Uh, graffiti. Yeah, graffiti. Beer runs um, are definitely a thing of the 90s. Just the clothes, you know, crease, crease in the pants. Khakis. Khakis. Levi's. Even this, I, I wore this jacket today. I haven't worn this jacket since Please. high school. It's a John Lear. No, Nobody even has these anymore. John Deere? John, it's a, called a John Lear. But, like, everybody had this jacket in high school. And I right, saved so it let all me these years. In on the 90s. I'm from the 90s, homie. Let me quiz you. Let's see how informative you are on the 90s. You remember uh, uh, um, the uh, 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 Wrangler? Remember the Wrangler jackets? Yeah. The uh, what were they called? Uh, Joe. Uh, they had the little tie right here. The Wrangler. Uh, damn. 
I don't even the know. The Wrangler. Wait, I yeah. do remember, but I, they were made by Wrangler. The the county jackets, the OG county jackets, the blue and the brown ones. Remember those? The OG county jackets. Fucking members only or what? Big Ben. Oh, uh, uh, Big Ben. The Big Ben jackets. Like the Dickie jacket? No, 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 no. Big Ben by Wrangler. That's the original county jacket. Look it up. Google it. eBay. You probably found one on eBay. If you fools want, I mean, I'm gonna it, look that up. Dickie's never made it. It wasn't FB County. It was Wrangler. It was it was Big Ben by Wrangler. That's a '90s product. They just continued it, and then that's when Dickies took over and started making all them county jackets. We all wore it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the blue ones. Yeah, the, that's why. I, to, that was the jacket that came into my mind. Was that was the was Dickie the Dickies one. one? Yeah. No, before Dickies, it was Dickies was a knockoff from Big Ben. Big Ben is an OG. I'm just gonna worry <laughs> giving a Big Ben commercial, but. It's like Ben Davis. It's like it's like saying Ben Davis, Frisco Ben's like nah, homie. Is Ben Davis and Frisco Ben? Yeah, or whatever. Uh, yeah, you're you understand right. what I'm yeah. saying? No, I understand. It. I we have this argument at the shop all the time, just like the Cascade, and the Charlie Brown. Like I call it a Cascade. That's that's what it's called. Exactly. See, not people a lot of get people mad and that. offended. Like it's not a Cascade. Or like yes, it is. Like. But Cascade has been around forever. Like, you know, that's what I call that it. That was the original name that, for yeah. the Charlie Brown was the Cascade. Right, right. But that's some 70s shit. You went no, yeah, back. You took it back further but I, than the but 90s. But I wore Cascades in the 90s, so mm-hmm. that's why, like. It's like Hush Puppies and Wino. Yeah, that's also from the 70s, but I wore Hush Puppies in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now they got, like, but, but it's it all came back. Thanks to people like you, dog. <laughs> Thanks to people who never gave up on the culture, never gave up on the 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 trend, never gave up on the fit. But it, it's not thanks to me. I would say all the kids right now, their parents are our age, so they've grown up with it their whole life. That's okay. So that's how I do. That's how I design what I design. I look at that. I'm like, these kids have grown up with these people. What what their parents? What did their parents like? It's like the movies. They want they bring out Ninja Turtles because we grew up with Ninja Turtles, yeah. so they know when they drop Ninja Turtles, it's you're gonna nostalgic. take your family to see it. You're gonna take your kids to see it. Like, oh yeah, we gotta go see this, and then mm-hmm. your kids are instantly gonna be fans. So it works like that in the clothing games. Like, well, I wore this, I dress like this. So when you go to the store and you see it, like I used to have that. You need this, even if your kid doesn't want it. You like you need this, and then he's gonna be like, okay, and he's gonna wear it. And then it's just going to start all over again. And that's what's happening right now. With OG family. <laughs> but I Look, homie, you could downplay it all you want because you're a humble man. I get it. You know, he, he holds, he holds his, his, his uh, what do you call it, his successes to himself and his family. And they, you probably celebrated with them. And to the world, you just say, eh, I mean, I'm just, just a normal. But you're not. I mean, you could say you are. Because you're like, but you're not. In my eyes, I've only known you. I've known you maybe 10 years, if that, maybe eight years. And since I've known you, homie, I've seen you fucking, I, not only have I seen you, but I've seen your product. I've seen your brand. And I'm out there, fool. You know I'm out there. I'm out no, there. No, I know. I'm yeah. out there, out there. And I I, I look and I'm like, I tell my <laughs> hand, I'm like, look at fucking Mike. Look at fucking, like, this fool's out here. And it trips me the fuck out. And I like I I wish to reach those heights. So if you don't think that you're there, homie, I'm telling you here right now, just from like from 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 a supporter, from a follower, from a fan, from an admirer, you're there, homie. It's just that people don't know you. They don't know. They can't put the face to the brand, and that's why I wanted to bring you on here. No, dog. thank you. I I to be honest, I really don't like to show my face. I mean, I'm trying to get used to it. But I, it's just me. I don't even you know, like you said like I don't really I don't really like to say much either. Like I just I've I've been taught like that too. Like you don't say nothing, you don't show your face, you don't you just do what you're supposed to do and that's it. Like and that's it. You don't talk about whatever you do. You just. Well, let me tell you. One you just time. do it. <laughs> let me tell you a story about this fool one time, homie. Um, when I was in a come up, this is before fool news. Who News wasn't even a thing. I was just American Stepchild before then, right? And I was trying to bring up a brand. My first thing was American Stepchild. And I told Mike about it. And Mike, I told him it would be good. Like, people are not going to take my brand serious. They would take my brand more serious if you put 
your logo on my shit, right? I told him. And he's like, go ahead, dog. Do whatever you want to do. So I, I, it was for an art show, and the Delphonics were playing, and da, 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 whatever. That, that's neither here nor there. The point was is that I was, like I said, I was just some lame-ass fool with a dream, homie. Fool News wasn't even created yet. I was just a man be also Flyboy Inc., working at the tattoo shop, <laughs> trying to build a brand, and American Stepchild came up, and I created my very first T-shirt. Very first T-shirt ever. I paid this fool, you know, what I paid him, and he made me, he made me my shirt, and it was American Stepchild, and he fucking put OG family right above it, homie, really small. And I was like, and that right there to me, dog, that meant everything because I just felt like I was going to piggyback off of you. You understand what I'm saying? I was yeah, the yeah. little guy piggyback, piggybacking off of this fool and not look at me because of you, not because of you, but because of you, homie, like. You gave me the fucking, I seen the, the, the determination in you. I've seen everything you just described. I seen it because I'm the same way. And so, I, I but I told you I was piggybacking off of you, right? I was yeah. like, let me, let me use this because I'll get a bigger reaction because you're OG family. And even though you don't think, homie, you are. People love your shit, homie. I'll just say it straight out. Like, there he is. Applause. Let me get an applause button, <laughs> Bobby G. There he is, homie. The man. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You really said it. I'm just being honest. Well, it's not just me. I, 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 I don't like to, I don't like to be like that. I'm. How do you say? Like, I don't build. I didn't build this by myself. In other words, like you said, it's my brother Adam, Alex. You know, Alex. That prince. yeah, Alex. It's, it's a lot of a, us. That it's, it's one not of your just main me. workers. Yeah, and you know, like all of them have helped build what we have right now. It's not just me, and I won't ever say that it's just me. So I, I don't. That's why. That's why back to what we first started when we were saying, you know, I want to be the boss. I want to be the boss. That's why it never works. So you have to learn how to like. Yeah, I'm the boss, but I'm not the boss. Like I want to listen to what you have to say. I want to listen to what you have to say, and we'll put it together. But we're gonna work together to build something. We're not like individuals in other words we're a team like i don't know that's just that's just my mindset i love that i love that because that's what works straight up in business and this is a business show we bring entrepreneurs we brought salsa plug in here we brought young beeves in here we brought um man you know leslie we brought leslie through here you know, we brought all these cholo from the Lolo. We're all entrepreneurs, and that's I'm an entrepreneur. I'm figuring it out. I'm learning out for you. I'm I'm buying his product, <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, if you guys don't know that, like, how do you get it done? How do you get it done? I'm trying to tell you guys how you get it done is you meet people like this. You 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 believe in what they're doing so much that you want to be a part, just a small part of it, that you pay them. You pay them for their product. And then you make your money in tune off of, like, it just, yeah, that, it goes. But see, that's the thing nobody understands. Like, there's enough money for everybody. Everybody. But nobody thinks that. Everybody wants that top spot. And when you want that top spot, it's just like, but I ain't going to lie because I want that top spot too. You know, at the end of the day, I think that. I'm like, I want to be the biggest brand. I want to be the biggest brand. I'm, I am going to be the big. Not I want to be. I am going to be the biggest brand. Well, you are You are and, one of the biggest <laughs> brands. I'll tell you that much. But, you may not think so, but you definitely are. But I am going to be the, the biggest the brand. The biggest that, brand. That's my goal, you know. But at the same time, I don't want it to myself. You know the old story, like, what is it when you reach the top and you have nobody around you? Like, why do you want that? Why do you want that? Like, That's how I feel right why now. Why are you going to burn people I'm starting to way? feel like that. But yeah, why are you going to burn people you along tell you why? the way? At least how I, why I think that saying is true. It's lonely at the top, homie. It is. It is. I'm not lying because I'm at the top of my shit. I'm not going to lie. And I it's lonely at the top because you don't know who's your real friend and who isn't. But that's why I work alone. I work with my team. That's it. That's outside, what you have to build. Outside people, I'm cool. I'll slap hands with you guys. You know, I'll be take friends with you. I'll take pictures, that. everything, you know, like. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I go back to my circle. 
but 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 you still have to build friends, you know, like little by little, you bring people in. Of course, you know? of course. And then you're like, okay, the food, okay, he could be part of the circle. And then you know? and then three <laughs> months down the road, they do some stupid ass shit, and it's like maybe not. And yeah, it's okay, exactly. And it's okay. It's not the end of the world for you, for them, for anybody. You just keep on pushing, and OG family keeps getting bigger and bigger because you learn. Yeah. And it takes years. Everything is just learning, learning, learning. Uh, like you said, it's levels. It's levels. It's all it is. In reality, that's all it is. It's just like, how do I get to this next step? How do I get to this next step? And it's hard sometimes. And sometimes you just like, you find yourself like, what am I going to do? You might have one of those days where it's just like, Fuck. It's like an OG and a lowrider. <laughs> this fool's already like 50, 60 years old, homie. And you got the clean ass fucking whatever. And you got this youngster comes in and he's like, wants to be that guy. And he's like, you might have a clean low rider, homie, but this fool has, has, he's had 20 of them already. Yeah. Oh, we're the same because I got a clean ass Impala and so do you. Homie, I've had 20 of them and flipped them and dumped them and did whatever to them. <laughs> you're on your first one and you think you're on my level? Knock it off, boy. I'm just saying. No, yeah, no, you, but you're right. Because at the end of the day, like, that dude that's 20 years old, you know, like, compared to that dude that's 40 that's had 20, he's going to name you every car part. He's going to tell you what kind of paint job you have. He's going to tell you what kind of rims you have. He's going to tell you what kind of setup you got. That dude is going to be like, I don't know about this car. <laughs> Facts. I, I know what kind of engine it got. Hashtag. Yeah. But the, but the older dudes going to be like, that piece ain't original. What's that screw underneath mm. here? You know, like... That's one thing too, like a lot of people don't understand. Yeah. Like, they're amazed by those by those cars in the in the show. But yeah. I learned this from my cousin, because my cousin, he's been he's been in the lowrider scene since he was like a baby. And he's like, I was like, dang, that car's fresh. He's like, No, it's not. Look at that screw right there. That doesn't belong there. And I'm like, I didn't even see that. But you know, like now I start to see it because he showed me how to look for it. But it's like that in shirts too, like in anything, like Everything is not perfect, even though you think it is, it's not sometimes, you know, but, but you only have the eye for it if that's what you do. So, so you, you are a, a man of detail. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I said, sometimes I might misprint something and I'm like, nobody's going to notice that. Only I notice that because I'm a printer. Oh, I notice. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like, it's like what you do, you know, like. In your editing, you might edit something. Like when I put an extra finger on a tattoo, it's like, ah, nobody's going to see that. <laughs> but exactly, you know what I mean? Oh, we see it. But you got the eye for it. For it. What we are we going to do? We it. need them shirts, homie, so we just run them through. I might, the customer ain't going to see it, but I see it because the people who are buying your shirts, they're business-minded also. More than likely, right, everybody that buys these shirts is an entrepreneur of some sort. Oh, yeah, that comes in for sure. Oh, yeah, everybody. Oh, who, yeah, yeah. Everybody who goes to West Coast Graphics and says, hey, Mike, here's a thousand dollars. I need this many shirts or whatever. They're all businesses. Yes. No. Yeah. And that's why I know a lot of people, because I'm dealing with upcoming businesses, old businesses, all types of different businesses. So I, I know a lot of people. Do you give people business advice? All the time. Really? All the wow. time. Wow. Give me an example. Just today, somebody uh, DM me said uh, he was interested in um, in starting a brand. If I had any tips, I said, "Yeah, you know, let me know what you want to know." And he said he just said that he wanted to he wanted to know how I get the designs out. He said, "Do you cater to your people, to your clients, or do you just do what you want to do?" And I said, "No. At the end of the day, I do what I want to do. I don't cater to anybody." Was once you start catering to people, you're gonna lose money. So like they change the design. Yeah, like 50 how come times. you don't make it on a brown shirt? I want a five X. How come it's not on a shaka? How come you didn't print it on jackets? Nah, I printed thirty shirts, and they're on this brand. If you like it, cool. If you don't like it, cool. Don't you don't have to buy it. You know, like, and that's basically what I told them. Like, you're gonna go broke if you try and please everybody. Just please yourself and do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, if they don't want it, they don't want it. Can you say it louder for the fools in the back? <laughs> yeah, no, they don't want it, they don't want it. Like, you don't have to please everybody. 
Man, I wish I had a piece of the drink to that, homie, because that was f- hashtag facts. You're smart. How old are you, homie? I'm about to be 43. Sick ass fool. You've been running through the streets of the Dino since how long? Nah, nah. I barely. I'm, I moved to San Bernardino, I would say, in 2000. That's a long time. Yeah. 2024. Yeah. So it's about 24 years I've been in San Bernardino. And before that? Before that, I went to high school in uh, in Rubido. And before that, I grew up in Puente. So, so you know, you're very geographically in tune with from the SGV. I'm sure you ran through Pomona. I'm sure you ran through Fontana. I'm sure. You, I mean, obviously, you're in the Dino now. So you ran. You the Inland Empire is your backyard. Yeah. No. Yeah. I got. I always say this because when I was. That's why, like, when I was going to high school, there was the LA IE beef. So I was. A, I was involved with that. You know, I don't like to mention all that stuff. But it, it's very important Puente. to my life. Yeah, it's very important to my life because my dad moved us to get away from things, you know, because he, he understands the lifestyle. So he moved us away, and we ended up back into it, you know. But it was different out there, you know. And and at that time, I was like, you know, I, I didn't like the IE at that time. But now I got a lot of love for the IE. Like, they show a lot of love. They show a lot of support. And I'm not Facts. even about... That was a 16-year-old me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm 43. I, I, you show love, I'll show love back. You know, it doesn't matter who you are. Like There was... Okay, well, let's clarify real quick. Just for... Because this is the American Step Child Podcast. We're going to throw it out there, homie. Back in the 90s, fools to say, fuck, smiley. Remember that? Yeah. Fuck, and see, and- the IE used to say, fuck... <laughs> You know, smell a this, and then these people say, "Aye, aye," and that's how they used to diss each other, homie. Because I was a juvenile hall, I ran through all that shit, and it was just like. So I grew up in Pomona, and then I grew up in Fontana too, because I got kicked out of my city. But see, I grew up in Fontana. That's what a lot of fools don't understand. So when I moved out, my first day of school, the fools are like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, I, mm-hmm. "You know, I'm not from nowhere." They're like, "Nah, well, where'd you come from?" I'm like, "Puente." Well, where's that's that? LA. At? I'm like, it's San Gabriel Valley. <laughs> They're like, I don't know where that's at. I'm like, it's in L.A. And then I got socked oh, in the face. Knowledge. So then I ended up in a fight, you know. But so they don't, they didn't, at that time, they didn't understand the difference between. It's like, we don't care about none of that, homie. Where yeah. your mama stay? But they didn't understand, like, <laughs> SGV, L.A. That's where you like, from. It's just, so then it was basically, like, everybody that I rolled with was just from L.A. Even though they were, like, from SGV or whatever, you know, like. But it's just all the little fools from yeah. Al, all the little fools from Los that moved to IE. But uh, but I wanted to stuck bring together that up. because the fools from IE used to trip, straight up. They used to trip. If you weren't from the IE, homie, then we had beef, and it's, it ain't like that no more. Nah, it's not like that. Every, I, I'm I'm just trying to make money. If you're trying to make money, it don't matter where you're from. Let's make money. That, like that's kids stuff. Ooh, like, I love the IE. I get so much love out here. No, yeah, they made me famous. <laughs> Straight up, I mean the food's from Los too, but I'm not out there like I live out here. Yeah, exactly. So these are my stomping grounds, and it's like everybody leaves the IE to get famous. I came to the IE. I'm in Paris, Hamas, uh, San Jacinto. Who the fuck is famous in San Jacinto? <laughs> I, Flyboy Inc. That's who. No, but anybody can. It doesn't matter. Where and I've been wearing his shit. I've been wearing your shit. I'm, you see, I got a gang of videos of Food News Network. Wearing OG family clothing, hats. I've worn your hat on this show. I think it was like our second episode. <laughs> yeah, I, I like. I'm, I'm not afraid because, like, I like I said, I consider you a friend, homie. And if you didn't even gotta be sitting right there for me to wear your shit, that's how I roll. You no know? thanks. I don't yeah. wear it cause it's. I mean, I wear it cause it's nice. It is obviously it's pro club, shaka, whatever. This my shit's pro club. You did it. But, nah, homie, yeah, I represent your shit proudly. No, nah, thank you. Cedro. Thank you. Nah, I appreciate anybody. Anybody that wears it, I appreciate it. You know, like, I tell people that all the time. When I'm at shows, I shake everybody's hand. I tell them, thank you for buying the shirt. You know, and I learned that from a homie. Like, when I was in the swap meet selling, you know, the shoe guys that clean the shoes? Yeah. So, one day, those dudes came up to me, and they're like, let me show you how to sell. And one of my good... When he's my good friend now. He's also my barber. Well, now my son's my barber, but this dude was my barber for a while. And um, shout out to him. Ask about me on the Instagram. He's a homie. He taught me how to sell. 
He really, cause I, I, when I was in the summit, I was just standing there, and I was just like hoping to sell a shirt, you know, regular like, you want to buy a shirt? Oh, okay, nah, this fool said, nah, approach people, talk to them, ask them how their day is going. Don't even sell them a shirt. Just hey, what's up? How's it going? You know, check me out if you get a chance. Here's a free sticker, you know, yeah. like, and that's how I run it now because of him, you know, like. And my sales just shot up like crazy because of that. You give back. Yeah. It's not even about selling. It's it's about talking, communicating, meeting people. Sometimes people are having a bad day. You just say like, hey, what's up, bro? How's your day going? Here's and they shirt. like that. Here's yeah. a shirt. No, but they like that. They like that. Somebody's talking to them sometimes. Like, you know, like, and there have been times at the, even at the Swami, even at, at the lowrider shows, like, I've been having conversations for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Like I'm going to tell you the first time I met you. Do you remember? No. I do. We were at the Hey Love uh, show in uh, at right in downtown LA oh, yeah, on, on 18th Street. Yeah, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. And um, I was fade. I was white girl wasted on me. I had put down like five white claws, the big ones, like that size. And I was messed up, and I was like in my feelings, homie, because I was going through a divorce at the time, and I was there. And it's Valentine's; it was like a big hey love show. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Uh, MC Magic performed. Beer, I give all <laughs> my love to you, and I was like going through it. And I, I was like, I didn't know nobody there. The only fucking person I know was Commitment Haina, and you already know how that went. I don't but at know. the time. I seen you and I was like, oh, that's the homie from 27 Junkies and and uh, OG Family. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go talk to them because they're from out there where I'm at. I went over, remember? Yeah. When I pulled up on you, I was like, what's up, homie? And I bought a shirt off you. And I think he said, nah, take it. I said, nah, I'm going to give you. Or at least he's, I'll just give you 20 bucks. I think we ended up like a 20. You gave me a shirt for like 20 bucks. And it was a Dr. Dre chronic shirt. Yeah, the white one. I love that shirt. I've already had like five five little things shirts. Anyhow, that's when I met you, bro. And, and and since that day, it's been like, it's been fucking like 100 straight up. The Vatos never, never showed me any different. Never, Bobby G, never, never, ever. And you know people like that are good, homie, because motherfuckers show their, you could, you could, like a motherfucker could show their face and, 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 and be, a certain way for a certain amount of time, but you can't be like that forever. That's not you. That's not you, homie. Straight up, you can't fake it. So this auto just showed me who he was since 2016. I think I met you at your brother's art show. Your brother, like I said, your brother gave me the first, my very first art show, homie, that I was ever on yeah, with a flyer. Yeah, in Santa Monica, remember? Yeah. And and I was last time I met this fool, and but I didn't know him. I I didn't meet him. I seen him. I never met him until that day. And you fool was just feeding me with me from the day one. And not only that, but people that I admire talk good about you. And that was that's even more. That's even better. That people that I admire talk good about you. So there's that's people cool. out there who talk good about you, homie. I'm glad to hear that. You know, thank you. Whoever you, it is, thank you. Thank cero. you. Like people talk good about you and, and I'm that's just me hearing it before I even met you like that. That's a home right there. That feels good. And everywhere that I go, People are always saying, oh, Mike, I don't even think you know them, and you be knowing more people than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I have random conversations with people because sometimes I'm not trying to sell a shirt. Uh, to me, selling a shirt is is just having a conversation. That's it. Like like, like you said, like, oh, that dude's cool. I'm going to buy a shirt from him. And I will thank you, and I'll shake your hand, you know, because I appreciate it. Like, that feeds my family. That feeds my workers' families. And that's all, like, for a long time I chased money. I don't chase that money anymore. I chase just providing, just helping, and inspiring. That's it. I, I don't chase money no more. I used, I chased money for a long time and it doesn't work. So I only chase helping people, providing for people. That's it. Like, you know, and making friends. You don't have to be my best friend. We don't have to kick it. But, you know, as long as we're cool, we slap hands, I say what's up, like, that's a friendship to me, you know. I don't know. As long as they don't do you dirty. Yeah, that's it. As long as you you don't do me dirty, I will, I will <laughs> never do you dirty. Like, that's it. It's a mutual agreement, right, amongst gentlemen. That's how you do it. But some of these fools, they don't know that. But that's neither here nor there. We can sit there and talk about that all day and go in circles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, so what's next for OG family, dog? 
I don't know. Like I said, I want that top spot. Um, and I've been figuring out what to do. Like, I feel like I don't focus enough on what I'm doing. Like, like I showed you those videos, you know, the funny videos, the Benny Hill style. Like, I'm doing that. But I like, that's something I like doing. But, you know, I'm like, but it takes away from my time of doing something else. And then I do photo shoots. But I think I have to invest more time in my photo shoots. Like, um, because, okay, let me be honest with you. Okay, the way, I, like how we said, all the kids dress 90s. But I don't like the way they wear it. Like, they don't wear it. Some of them wear stuff that's like, why did he... Why does he wear it like that? Like that's not the way we would have wore it, and if and that's the way like a lame would have worn it. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm like, nah. Like somebody's teaching these kids to dress. I don't know how to say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody's leaving these fools in the wrong. Yeah, the wrong exactly. Way. Exactly. They're they're seeing something, that I'm like, nah. Why do they wear it like that? Like why do they do it like that? You know. So I kind of want to focus more on presenting. The brand where it should be like, you should wear it like this. I mean, I've already been trying to do that, but it's hard. You should do commercials. I'm working teach on these that. Fools I'm working teach on these yeah, fools. no. Show these, show these fools how to how to wear it. I mean, obviously, if you guys haven't check out his page, OG Family on Instagram, you got tons of models on me. But see, that's the problem. Sometimes, sometimes even they wear it wrong. Yeah, like sometimes I'm like, oh, <laughs> why did they show up with that? But it don't matter. Like we're still well, here. Yeah, to you're work. not gonna tell like, and, hey, and promos, promo. No, but I, at the shoot, I do say like, next time, you know, maybe if we did it like this, you know, mm. it would it would look cool. Cause like, but I get it. Like there's there's a certain style that the kids have, and I I can't stop it. I'm just one person. I can't stop it, but I can influence it. You know, like. Maybe steer you in this direction a little bit instead of going in this direction. Have you ever met a, a model that just had it fucking one hundred percent right? Yeah, no. There, there's been a few that like they come and I'm like, all right, correct. Cool. They yeah. come correct. I'm like, they they did it right. They did it right, and that's cool. Really? Yeah. But then there's sometimes I'm like, why did they wear that? Like, but then again, maybe it's just communication. You know, like I don't know. It it could be that. You know, but that's what I in my mind I have to I have to put more focus on it. I have to I have to get into more detail on what I'm doing and not just Well, it's cause too like coming up, I'm like, I wanna do a photo shoot, you know, nobody ever wanted to shoot with us. Now everybody wants to shoot with us. So now I'm just kinda like, Okay, everybody wants to shoot with us, let's do it, let's work. Like, cause that's my mindset, let's work, let's work, let's work. But now we put out so much work that I'm like Okay, now we have to do it right. Like now you gotta get paid. Yeah, yeah. Like now, how do we how do we, we get to paid do it correctly? Yeah, how does everybody benefit off of this? Exactly. How are we gonna make this so it it's the vision that I want, not just like okay, we got a model and just because that's what they're wearing, that's what we're gonna shoot. I don't want to do it like that no more. Like it has to be like this is the vision. We're gonna go in that direction. You have a very good mindset for that. That you're trying, you're a trendsetter. Although you're 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 trending, uh, what's a culture? We all know. I dress like it. You dress like it. Our kids are dressing like it. Even though some they didn't grow up like that. I remember my kids had poly D haircuts with purple <laughs> tips and piercings all over the. Face. You know what I'm saying? Like they grew up like that because that was the trend. Remember in the 2000, yeah, 2012s like and yeah. spiky hair and you know poly D and all this crazy stuff. And then now it just evolved. Now everyone wearing big clothes. So, like, do you change your style with the fashion or you just keep it OG family? Boom. This no, is OG 90s. I, no, we adjust to the fashion. Really? But we try to keep it still within our genre, like, still within our lifestyle. But we do try to adjust to what's happening. So, mm. But that's why I said it came it came full circle where right now is just, like, all the kids. Like, it didn't. And it just happened, like, maybe two years ago, three years ago, maybe, where now all the kids want to dress like that and mm -hmm. i'm like oh okay like this is too easy now like but i don't like it, it bothers me that it's too easy because i'm used to like doing tons of research looking at what's happening you but now that you they, you reach og status <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now that they want to dress the exact way that i used to dress it's just like it's too easy like it's because it's because you were on the you were on the climb bro <laughs> 
No, nah, I get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You were hungry for that spot. And maybe you just, you don't see it, but I think you reached it, homie. No, I just think that all my hard work put me in an opportunity to make it easy. That's what luck is, you know. You work hard, and now I'm in that opportunity where it's just like, you worked hard forever. Like, let it be easy for a little bit. Maybe that's just what it is. So, You still work, though. Yeah, I'm still going to work. Yeah, I still got to work and everything, but... It's just a little bit easier than it has been. So, Amen to that, homie. So with that, we're going to say shout out to OG family, homie. Killer Kush, AP Constructions, 323 Expressions, and Vinyl Bandits, homie. Shout out to Bobby G on the ones and twos you guys already know. But, man, shout out to you, homie, especially OG family. You guys can find him on Instagram. Super simple. Yeah, but uh, anything you want to tell these fools in before we before we dip out? Nah, nothing that I could think of. I mean, I was just <laughs> I was wondering how this conversation. Let me, let me was tell you. Okay, on. we'll leave it like this. What would you tell? What would you tell? Uh, uh, two thousand eight. What would you tell Mike from two thousand eight, homie? If you had a if you had to put it in a letter in a bottle and and time capsule and say, "I tell you, homie," what would you tell your younger self in two thousand eight when you're starting the business? <laughs> just uh. Don't worry about it when times get hard because you already know it's going to end up cool in the end. It works out. Yeah, it works out. It always works out. Some way, somehow. But that takes a lot of work, too. It does, but my whole life has been, I mean, I'm sure everybody's life has been, but my life always gets to a point where it's like so, it gets so much where I can't take it. And then I'm like, all right, just keep going. And then it ends up cool after that. Like, you get past the storm. Yeah, you get past that storm, and you're like, why was I so worried? Like, <laughs> Man, amen to that, homie. So we'll leave you fools with that. American stepchild, OG family, homie. It was a blessing. An honor, homie. Thank you for blessing the show, homie. No, thank you. Thank you. You were Bobby G. Killer Kush, homie. Orale, vato, what's happening? <laughs>